Hey everyone, Adobe released some new features and functions as far as 3D designs in Adobe Illustrator relatively recently. And in this short tutorial, I just want to go over how to make a quick 3D cube in Adobe Illustrator. So we don't necessarily have to use another Adobe program that focuses just on 3D graphics or another non Adobe program. We can make a quick cube right here in Illustrator. Now some tutorials will go over a really complicated method on manually drawing a cube, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a really quick 3D cube. All right, so first bring up the tools panel here and just create a new file. I just went to file new and then went to web 1920 by 1080, but as long as we have some room to work with here, it's fine. And um, make sure you go to window and then toolbar basic or you can have advanced either way but regardless let's go ahead and select our rectangle tool or press m on the keyboard and just click and drag and hold shift and that will maintain the same width to height ratio so we have a perfect square all right so next we want to extrude this out so we can go to effect 3d and materials and then extrude and bevel and that will bring up this dialog over here, or we can just go to Window and then 3D and Materials, either way. And so I can see up here, our shape is 593 pixels by 593 pixels. If yours is something else and you wanna change it, you can highlight that and type it in. But make sure these two numbers match so that it's a perfect square. And let's make this depth match that width and height, all right? So for this, I'm going to go to 593, and now we have a cube, right? So we have some options over here uh, besides the depth. We can toggle this cap here, and it makes it look kind of hollow in the middle and then filled in. We can change the color. So if I double click on the stroke color here and select that, you know, the fill and the stroke are going to affect uh, these colors here, all right? So we can use a different color scheme, a complementary color scheme, analogous color scheme, whatever we wanna do, um, but we can adjust that there, all right? Bevel, I'm not gonna go over in this tutorial, but if you click it, there are some options here, but that's just to add a bevel on the end there. Now, if we click on lighting up here, we can affect the intensity of the light, the rotation, the height, and the softness, so how soft the light is. We can toggle ambient light, so that has a slightly different effect. And then if we want, we can add a shadow. For this example, I'm not going to, but when we add a shadow and we change the height, you can see the difference here as well. So. These settings will affect the light and, of course, the shadow as well, but I'm going to toggle the shadows off for this tutorial. There are also some presets as far as standard, diffuse, top left, and right, and that will change these settings down here. And we can also adjust the color of the light as well, right? So I'm going to undo that. So in order to rotate this in a more freeform way, we can hover over the middle here and click and drag and we can rotate the cube. Uh, if we want to select just the Z axis, we can rotate it along that Z. If we hover over the edge there, if we hover over here, we can rotate it around X that's up and down like this, so. And we can also rotate it around Y. So it depends on what angle we want to set this cube at. All right, so this is a quick way to create a cube in Adobe Illustrator using this 3D and Materials panel. So I hope that was helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more Adobe tutorials, specifically Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, some other programs, and some photography tips as well. Thanks.